Hi guys, it's me Sandy and today I'm going to be doing a makeup look for you guys. This makeup look is actually something I do all the time and if you guys have seen my Get Litty With Me video, you guys will know I've done this look before. It's just I've changed my lipstick. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. And also, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial. You guys have been asking me how I've been curling my hair for like the longest time. So I came through for y'all this video. Hey, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys haven't already. And let's just get into it. First thing I'm doing is moisturizing my face. Then I'm gonna put on some Nivea Men's Shape Balm for primer. Now I'm using the Milk Blur Stick. I like using this because it makes my pores smaller looking i guess and when i actually have on foundation and stuff i can tell my face is a lot smoother i'm gonna use my favorite maybelline fit me this is the dewy version i'm using my flat kabuki brush by sigma this is the f80 brush and i'm just using this on my cheeks because it's just like way quicker now I'm gonna use concealer. This is the Honey Concealer, which is number 30 by Maybelline Fit Me, and it is my favorite concealer. Now I'm using the medium one under my eye, also just so that it's a little brighter under the eyes. If you guys have seen my Get Lady With Me video, you guys will definitely see all these products have been used already in that video. But then like in that video, I didn't really give directions of what I was doing. So I wanted to remake pretty much that look, but in an actual makeup tutorial. Now using my LA Girl Pro Conceal, I'm going to put this on my forehead. I like to blend this out with a small stippling brush first because I find this concealer is a little bit hard for me to blend. Then I'm going to blend it completely out. If you guys don't know, Maybelline Fit Me has this loose finishing powder that is so good for baking. It's my favorite. Like, It's so soft. It makes your skin look so good. I'm just going to use my beauty blender and literally just... under my chin under the nose and the train is currently here so and then right at the forehead then I'm grabbing some more and putting it on my nose and on the sides of it now I'm gonna do my eyebrows so there's two ways I do my eyebrows. It's either I use pomade or I use eyeshadow. But today I'm going to use eyeshadow because I want the look to look a little less bold. Personally, I prefer doing my eyebrows with powder because I feel like it looks more natural. So yeah. I like to use the MAC eyeshadow in Brune or Brun because I feel like it's like the perfect shade. I've been using this exact thing since I was in like 8th grade which I'm a senior now but yeah I've been using this exact eyeshadow and it's not done yet for some reason I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows now I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Honey so I finished my eyebrows and I'm just gonna wipe away my face now now I'm gonna bronze. Today I'm bronzing with the Wet n Wild contouring palette thingy because um, this is the only bronzer that fits me right now. Now I'm contouring my nose. I don't know if this blush is still being sold. This is just the CoverGirl old ass blush, but. I really like using this because the color is just so cute. And yeah, you guys can pretty much find a blush this color anywhere. So that's a good thing. So I just applied my blush and now I'm going to do highlighter. 
My favorite highlighter is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals. I'm obsessed with this because the color is just like it's perfect for my skin tone. It's I guess this is like a rose gold, but it is so nice. The way it looks on my skin is so good. It's so smooth and soft. I hate highlighters that show my pores like crazy. Of course, your inner corners. I feel like y'all can't even see the highlight. I'm using my Sigma what is this? Powder Sweep F06 brush. And it's gonna just sweep the highlighter. Mm -hmm. This is a really good highlighter and a really good highlighting brush. I have a code for this brush if you guys wanna save 10% off. So. Y'all can check that out in the description below. So now I'm gonna bake under whatever I just did there. Yep, like that. I love doing this step. This step is like so Instagrammable. I feel like I'm not really talking in this video, so I apologize. I already know this video is gonna be so boring. And I'm learning to look more into the camera instead of onto my viewfinder, whatever you call that. Today's lashes are the Luna Lashes by Wink Formula. I have a code which is Love Sandy if you guys want to save 15% off. I'm obsessed with these lashes. These are my favorite, favorite lashes right now. I've been wearing them in every video. <laughs> but yeah. If you guys have Asian hooded eyelids like mine, I swear these lashes will make you look like a snack. Guaranteed. So. There's two ways you guys can go about this certain moment. One, you guys can put on your lip gloss and get on with your day. Or two, you guys will put on some liquid lipstick. Today, I'm gonna put on liquid lipstick since you guys really wanted to know what lipstick I was wearing in my last video, which was the back to school clothing haul, Fashion Nova edition. So first, I'm gonna line my lips with the Tawny Lip Liner by Jordana. This is my favorite lip liner and I I heard that they discontinued this lip liner so I'm not sure if they still make it but y'all can just tell it is like a mauve color. So I've literally been using this lip liner since I've been a freshman in high school so y'all can tell I'm obsessed. For today's lip, I'm using the Clo Money Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. Y'all were so obsessed with this lipstick in my last video. And I can see why. Okay guys, so this is the makeup look. If you guys only care for this makeup look, then stop watching now. But if you guys want to see how I like to curl my hair, just keep on watching. Alright guys. This is the curling wand or curling iron that I use. It's super different. As you guys can see, this is kind of weird. But once you press this, it spins. This is the Beach Waver. I saw this on the 2016, I think it was 2016, Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. So, you know, had to, had to get that. As the curling iron is getting hot, I'm going to show you guys what products I use in my hair. So in my last video, I had a lot of questions as to how I keep my hair shiny and healthy looking. To keep my hair healthy looking, I use the Pareology Hydrate Condition and Shampoo. This is, this is some good soap. Before I used this, I feel like my hair wasn't as healthy looking, but now that I have been using it for like the past, since this year has started, like almost a year, but not quite. My hair has been looking healthy as ever. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is the soap I've been using. I think it's like $25 per bottle though, so it's not a very affordable, but it is so worth the money you guys put into it. My mom is a hairstylist, so you know, she pretty much buys this for me, but um, yeah, this is just the shampoo and conditioner I like to use. Now I'm gonna curl my hair. This part is going to be really hard for me to explain because I am not good at hair tutorials whatsoever. First thing I'm gonna do is comb my hair. So when I do my hair, I like to section it in half and then on each side I make four sections. So I half it and then I half it again. 
When I curl it, I like to curl them different ways. I like to go right and then left, right and then left, just so that all the curls don't come together as one curl. I like to um, make them different curls so they just look really wavy everywhere, not as one wave, but many waves. And of course, when you go to the front hair, you want to curl the curls away from the face. And that is how you get that Victoria's Secret like, I've been walking on the runway hair. I'm starting on my left side. On my left side, I always start with the right rotation. This says it here. Yeah, I always start with the right rotation. And then from there, I just take turns going right, left, right, left. And I always curl my hair really quickly because this curling wand is so easy to use and not only that but it is so good with its heating power like yeah and i don't like to leave it on too long because i do not like very very crazy curls okay for the front part of course you want to curl it away from the face and since i'm on the left side i'm gonna curl the hair on the left rotation but yeah, let's do that. What do you guys think? You guys prefer me with curled hair or with straight hair? Comment down below. Since I'm on my right side now, I'm starting off with the left rotation. And then of course the next piece of hair I do will be rotating to the other side. And like I said, the very front part here should be curled away from the face. Because, you know, you want that Victoria's Secret catwalk look at every moment of the day. Now that I've curled every piece of my hair, I am going to comb it through like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter how many times I comb it. I just, I comb it. Now, everybody likes to comb their hair when it's curled, but I personally like it. I like how the curls that are supposed to be together come together nicely and it just looks so good so that is pretty much how i curl my hair do you guys all like it <laughs> please like comment and subscribe if you guys haven't already i would love to know if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys end up doing this makeup look and let me know if you guys end up doing this hair curling style i don't know and comment what else you guys want to see from me and subscribe if you guys haven't already i think that is all i have to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video Mwah.